hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is judith sewa if you're new here and if you are not i want to say a big welcome to you so as we have been enjoying lots of history from kumasi today i'm bringing to you another exciting and interesting story you see this man right here he is autumn for the first and he was related to Okomfanochi. So let's get to know the story of how Okomfanochi really came to Kumasi. I hope you do enjoy this one. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Okay, you are welcome again. Thank you. The short sight. Okay. So today we are going to talk about how Okomfanochi came to Kumasi. Okay. Okomfanochi was 100% Asante. His mother from Asante, my father from Asante, okay. Okay. but he sought to us Asante. Okay. And he gave them to him. But okay. was sent to Dincha. Okay. To send them. That time would be about was a chief of Panama here, known as Kumasi. And we uh, were about that. And the two of us to two or seven Dincha people. So he was learning how to become a chief. Okay. For that time, we all were under Dincha control. Sure. So they met the two of us the first, and we met them. Nature. So they make friends. Okay. So we'll convert Professor Motu who said that he became a chief in Panama here. Which is present Kumasi. Yes. So the prophecy came to 18, uh, that's 1680. Wow. So in 1680, Motu who said he was chief here. And we'll convert to us a nature. Mm -hmm. So we'll convert from nature, he we went to back to Apple. And Sassi Seku was a chief. At that time, okay. at that point. and they captured him and put him in prison for much. So two of us here, two, the first was a friend, close friend, as we say, yeah. the, two, or, or much. So he heard what was going on there. He went there and he lived to a uh, uh, baby chief there, mm -hmm. as an assassin. Mm -hmm. And an assassin who released or converted to him, or, or, or converted to father, mother from Adansi, uh, uh, Asante okay. Aguna, father from Adansi Aguna, okay. they settled at the uh, uh, they get them to him. So when we took a to him, he took a from Aguna, and sent him to his mother place. That is Aguna's Asante. Aguna. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when we took a from Aguna, he became a chief there. Because that time, the chief at Asante Aguna, they, they, they passed on. Okay. He and uh, Aguna, 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 there was a war between Asante people or the Kwama people and Doma. Mm -hmm. During that war, two of them passed on. So that time they still become vacant at Asante Aguna and Kwama. Two of them became the chief. And the became the chief at Asante Before the Asante Confederacy was formed in 1695. So in 1680s, the Asante Aguna was formed. In 1680, the two of them were the chief here. Yeah? The same time, convert to the chief, but that time, the configuration was not for. Okay. So that's how convert came to Asante, or came to Asante, and he was hundred percent Asante, but not a captain uh, or voter. Yeah. Uh, what the Asante people are saying that he from this people. His roots are from Asante. His yeah. mother from Asante, my father from Atansa, but they settled there, gave them to him, and later on he returned to his normal place. Okay. He became a chief at Asanta. So his relatives are living that place now, mm -hmm. as we are talking now. So if you want to know of what you back now, you go to Asanta, and you can see his relatives there, his families and everything, they all live at Asanta. Okay. So, now they're so that's right. how come up on Fanochi came to, to Asanta here, not to Masi, but rather Asanta. Asanta. And he helped the two folks here to, uh, to form the Asanta configuration. Some of the chiefs to they joined to the Asante Code in 1695. Okay. That was a nice story. Mm -hmm. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. See you on another video. Bye bye.